Picture this. Think of some top tier predators which are present in the jungles. What do you remember? You remember lions, crocodiles. These all have razor sharp teeth. But what if I tell you millions of years ago there are some animals who decided to let go of all this teeth but still they remain as the most ferocious nature's predators. Hi guys, in today's video let us look at some animals and birds and fishes which do not have teeth but yet are ferocious predators. The first animal we are going to see is the giant anteater. This giant anteater is a 6 foot long munch pile which has a furry outer layer. But when you open its mouth, you will find there is no teeth, just a tongue. This tongue is extremely well developed, which moves at around 150 times a minute. So how it eats? These anteaters eat insects. That is about 35,000 insects per day. But once they eat these insects, they immediately go into the stomach. These stomach have powerful muscles which contract and relax rapidly. At the same time, they take some sand as well as stone inside their mouth such that it goes into the stomach and it helps them to kill these insects such that they will able to digest these insects. This is one of nature's marvel where millions of years ago these anteaters decided in our process of eating food we don't need any teeth but they just eat the insects with some sand and stone which helps them digest these insects. The next animal we are going to be seeing is the sea turtles. These sea turtles are mainly herbivorous but when you open their mouth you see there is no teeth. Then how do they make up for this loss of teeth? See what these sea turtles have, they have a giant armor behind their backs. But the presence of a sharp beak helps them to overcome this loss of teeth. For example, the sea turtles, these turtles have a serrated beak. This helps them cut the grass very nicely such that they can eat it. Also the hawksbill turtle, they have a serrated beak. These serrated beaks help them to cut through the coral reefs when they go there in search of food. These turtles have these beaks which are made up of keratin which makes it very hard and they self sharpen it throughout their life. And over millions of years with evolution, they have made up for this loss of teeth because of these beaks and they are able to survive wildly. The next we are going to see is the seahorse. This seahorse not only doesn't have teeth, they don't have stomach also. These have powerful vacuum mechanisms such that they can suck their prey and it will go directly into their digestive systems. These are voracious predators such that they camouflage themselves in the sea and they go and attack their prey at the right time but they don't need the teeth to do so. With just having a powerful suction mechanism they can easily suck their prey and it will go directly into their digestive system and it will digest it. The next one in our list is the scorpion. These scorpions mouth is so small that they cannot eat anything and they don't have any teeth. Then how do they hunt? See these scorpions are powerful pincers. When they find a prey they will go and latch onto it and they will give a venomous sting and the prey will die. Then what it does is it has a juice which is having a powerful digestive enzymes which spits on the corpse. What then happens, all this gets digested and it will drink this digested liquid as a syrup. So it does not have teeth to go and grind the food and swallow it. No, what it does, it kills the prey, throws digestive enzymes on it, it makes it into a liquid and it sucks it in. This is a marvel, right? Yes, this is how this scorpion has evolved to be one of nature's dangerous predators. The next animal we are going to speak about is the whale shark. These whale sharks are one of the largest fishes in the sea but inside their mouth there is only 3000 tiny useless teeth. These are just evolutionary souvenirs. Then how do they hunt? These whale sharks travel with their mouth open. So when they go with their mouth open, what they do is they just gulp a large amount of water in which small fishes, planktons will be there. In their mouth there are some pores through which this water is filtered out but this fish Planktons all stay in the mouth and then they get digested. Sounds amazing, right? Yes, without teeth, these largest fishes feed so much only with their mouths open and just letting the water out and digesting the food which is left behind in the mouth. The next one in this list is the starfish. These starfishes don't have any teeth but they capture their prey like no other fish. See, these starfishes have some mechanism where they can suck the prey. That is, they have these sucking valves present in their star-shaped body and when they suck this prey, they attach it to the starfish. Then what happens is something very amazing. Through the mouth of this starfish, the stomach comes out 
and from that the digestive enzymes are let out on this prey which is stuck on the starfish and it digests them. Once they digest them, the stomach then directly sucks in the prey into the starfish. Sounds amazing, right? The next one we are going to talk about is the jellyfish. This jellyfish has tentacles which produces the stinging cells, which stinging cells which will attack the prey and paralyze it. Now it has an opening in this. Now this opening, I don't know whether to call it as the mouth because both eating and excretion happens through this single opening. Once this prey is paralyzed, what this jellyfish does is, it opens this opening and then from that the digestive enzymes will suck this prey into and they get digested and the relevant nutrients are taken inside the jellyfish and what is not needed is excreted out through the same opening. The ducks. These ducks have long beaks but they don't have any teeth in them. But they have thousands of hair like lamellar structures present inside this beak which acts like a sieve. See what does a duck eat? Algae, some small invertebrates. So when they eat this, they take along it with the water. But this lamella serves as a sieve such that it takes this water out and keeps this algae or small invertebrates inside the beak only. But they don't grind the food. They take it directly into the stomach. And in the stomach there are powerful digestive enzymes as well as something called as the glizzard. This glizzard is something which is of strong muscular activity which along with the help of stone, sand, it helps to grind this food. Sounds amazing, right? Teeth may dominate our daily lives. But always remember, in the wild, there are certain animals and fishes without teeth still dominating. Do like, share and subscribe me for more interesting videos.